Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled, my name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full playthrough of Conservas. In this solo-only board game, you play as the owner of a small tinning company off the coast of Spain that makes the best Conservas, which are like high-end canned fish delicacies. You must balance profits with sustainability, because if you miss your monthly goals or if you overfish the ocean, you'll lose the game. Now I went ahead and I got everything set up. We're going to play the March scenario for this playthrough. As part of setup, I placed 5 Muscle, 5 Scallop, 5 Octopus, and 8 Water Tokens in the draw bag. I drew 2 random boats and picked 1 to keep. I dealt out 3 upgrades and 3 boat cards. And we get to start with 10 money. And there we go. That's it, we're ready to begin. Don't worry if you don't know how to play, because I'm going to teach the game as I go, as I always do. We're going to be playing on standard difficulty, so in order to win the game, at the end of 7 rounds, we need to have at least 40 money, have at least 3 octopus tokens in the bag, and have at least 4 ships as part of our fleet. Right now we only have this one ship, and at the start of the round it's going to go out and it's going to fish. This is known as the at sea phase. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our draw bag and we're going to draw out five tokens. We now need to decide whether we want these five tokens to go into the open water or onto our ship. I think I'm going to place these on my boat. Now this number here, this 3, is the number of tokens that the boat can keep. And I can choose which ones they are. So I think maybe we'll capture these two uh, scallops and one water. The tokens that they don't hold then go into the water, basically. They get left behind. So I'm going to have them leave behind this octopus token and another water. Now you'll see why I'm doing that here in a second. We now need to draw another five tokens out of the bag. And these tokens are now going to go on the open water card. We essentially have to draw five tokens and assign them to each card every round. And so the more ships we have, the more times we'll have to draw out and assign those to those ships. So that's the at sea phase done. We now move on to the inland phase where we get to sell the fish that we collected, that we caught. In this case, we have these two scallops. Now there's two different things we could do with these scallops. The first thing is we could go to this market. And I think that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna take these two scallops and you can see right here, that spot there requires two scallops. So we're going to essentially can these scallops. I'll set a marker there. The other one can go in back into the general supply. And we'll just get the amount of money that's shown below. In this case, two bucks. You have to fulfill these spaces from left to right. Now the other thing you can do with the fish that you collect is to get these upgrades. You can see at the top left of each of these cards, it shows the cost for obtaining that upgrade. So for the sea charters, it just needs one fish of any type. But for ethical netting, it would need two fish of different types. And then there are some upgrades that require two fish of the same type. So we're not going to worry about that for now. We're out of fish. We can't do anything with the water token. So that's it. We're done. Now we can use the money that we uh, have obtained here or that we started with in order to get some more boats if we want. In order to win the game, we are going to need four boats. So let's do it. Let's buy this one here. The cost is two bucks. I could buy another one if I wanted to, but I think I'm good. I think we're going to stick with this. So now we reach the end of day phase. We have to pay the upgrade on our ships. Now, I don't have to pay the one that I just bought, but our starting one does have one upgrade, so I do have to pay that. So we're now down to nine bucks. And we now see if the fish that we've left in the water are going to spawn. So first thing is we can get rid of all this water. That's not going to do anything. 
We can move this one over here. And now any fish here that there are at least two or more of are going to spawn. And they're always going to spawn one less than the number of fish. So because we have two of these mussels, they are going to spawn one more. But unfortunately, we only have one of each of those, so they're not going to spawn any additional. And then everything here just goes back into the bag. We now refill these rows. And because we didn't take an upgrade, we actually have the chance, if we want, the option to remove all three of those and get three new cards. We could also do that if we didn't take a boat. And I think I will. I think I'm going to wipe those and get three new ones. There we go. We move forward to the next round. And that's it. We're going to do that for seven rounds and hopefully we'll be able to meet our goal. Okay, let's draw. Ooh, okay. Now again, we can put this on either boat or onto the open water. This is a tough one. I'm going to put these on the open water so that we can get some nice spawning happening. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's let's go here. We can catch all three of those. That might be nice. And now we just have this last little boat. It can only hold one thing. Let's have it grab one of these mussels and then everything else will go into the sea. Now I'm a little torn because with this uh, mix of all three of the different fish, we could package them together and sell them for four money. That would be nice, but I want this card right here. So I think that's what I'm going to do instead. This says open territory, and it has an effect that will last once every round. And it says that when you place on the open water card, draw another three tokens and add them to. So this is going to let us add more tokens to the open water. That's going to be more spawning, which is very important so that we don't run out of these tokens. Spawning is how we keep the fish growing and sustainable and, you know, making sure that we don't overfish. Now, the cost of this is two different fish. So let's use these two. They're just going to go back into the supply. Now, I could use these two mussels to get that upgrade, which is interesting. That would give us one additional uh, money every time we sell a tin of mussels. Or we could just go ahead and place that up here and, and earn our money. Okay, you know what? Let's invest in that. That could be, that could be valuable. Oh, and we place this on here to show that it's, it's the mussels that we use to pay for it. So, Anytime we sell mussels, we'll get an extra buck per 10. Now, do I want to buy a boat? I think I'm going to hold off on buying a boat right now. If we get too many boats too early, then we'll be doing a ton of fishing and it could get a little out of hand. So I um, want to build up the bag a little bit. So we need to pay the upkeep on our ships. That's going to be two bucks. And we're now going to have spawning. And look at this. We have three octopus and three mussels. So we're going to spawn the number that's there minus one, essentially. So two of each. And that's good because, remember, at the end of the game, we need to have at least three octopus in the bag. So we have to be very careful about the population levels. Okay, all this gets thrown into the bag. Refill the upgrades, and because we didn't get a boat, we could flush that entire row, which I think I'm going to do. And on to round three. Ooh, okay. 
Yeah, let's catch these. That seems good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, I guess let's just put all this into the open water. And remember, because of our open territory card, we now draw three more. All the octopus in the world. Might have some overbreeding happening. And, oh, one more. Okay. Ooh. Let's keep that scallop. Oh, no, the scallop won't do anything. We might as well... Ooh, but we don't want to catch it. Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's catch that scallop. And we'll put the rest down here. Okay. We're going to get some massive breeding here, or spawning, or whatever they call it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do one of each. Place that there like that. So that's going to give us four money plus one because we sold 110 of mussels. So that'd be five. And we'll use this guy to get this ability... Basically just says that if you draw four or more water tokens in a single draw, you can put them back into the bag and redraw. So that may come in handy. I now think I do want to get one of these boats. That will cost three. And then... Two upkeep. Again, we don't have to pay the upkeep on the one we just got. And we're going to be getting some massive spawning here. Four octopus. And three mussels. <laughs> wow. That almost worked. Okay. Next round. I think we can do some hardcore fishing now. Don't have to worry about overfishing this round. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three. Okay. That should work out well. Might want a scallop. So maybe we'll put this into the open water. And again, we get to draw three more. Oh my goodness. And now, let's hope we get at least one scallop there. There we go. Yeah, let's grab that scallop. All right. So here we go. One, two, three. That's going to be six plus one, seven. So that's a very nice haul there. We're not going to sell those two tens of mussels. We'll be getting plus two for that. In addition to the two it says there, that'll be four. And let's just go ahead and sell this as well. It'll just be one. Once again, a ton of spawning. Four and three. And let's wipe these. Yeah, and I want to wipe these as well. All right. Oh, and I got to pay my <laughs> three for my upkeep. Can't forget that. So we got to earn some money. Ooh, all right. Oh, so close. If we had gotten four of those, we could redraw. 
fine. We'll just catch the two that we can. All right. Sure. Ah, okay. Let's put that over here. Draw three more. One, two, three. And last one. We only get one. Oh, man. We got a lot of octopi, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, I have a plan. I'm going to grab this upgrade using an octopus. So this is local campaign. It says to keep the traded fish token on the card, this fish earns an extra $2 for the first 10 sold of its type each round. Great. So we'll do that right now. That's going to be two plus two. That's four. We're now up to 20 bucks. That's pretty good. We're also going to sell these mussels. That's going to be three plus two. So five more. And then I'm going to use these two to get this card here. This is Rehabilitation Efforts. It says to take up to three fish tokens from the deep sea. The deep sea area is just any of this down here, as well as anything on the open water card. We're going to discard them and then replace them with fish tokens from the general supply. So let's go ahead and take two of these octopuses and octopi. Octopi and one mussel. And we're going to replace those with three scallops. Our scallop population was either completely extinct or uh, I think there may have just been one in the bag. So this is going to let us refresh the scallops. That's going to be helpful. And now with all of our cash here, let's go ahead and buy a nice, nice boat. That costs seven, it's gonna have no upkeep, and it's gonna be able to catch three fish each round. Great. Now we have upkeep of three. So we're just getting one mussel, two scallops, and three octopi. On to round six. So we have our four boats that we need, and we're gonna need to be careful not to overfish. Okay, I love this. Let's keep that. We're gonna be able to sell that for eight. Plus one for nine, and then plus two for 11. So that's gonna be worth 11. That is really good. <laughs> kind of like that for the open water to be honest plenty of breeding let's add three more okay don't mind that yeah just do it again oh man we're going to be cleaning up this is good Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And here we go. We only have three more tokens in the bag. That's it. Completely empty the bag. So when this happens, you have to add water to make up the difference from the supply. Now that's important because if you ever had to add water and there was none left in the supply, that means you've overfished and you lose the game. I think we're okay to like 
fish those. Although, again, we're fishing a lot. And we've already run out. So maybe... I'll play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. I don't think we're going to need those. So, boom. Done. Let's do this. Like I said, that's going to be... 8 plus 1 plus 2, 11. And then we'll do this. It's going to be 10 plus 1, 11 again. And we're just left with this. Yeah, let's just sell it. That's three. I'm good. I'm not buying anything. We have three. Upkeep. And it looks like two muscles there. So one. Three scallops. So two more. And then all of these octopi. Six. So five more. All into the bag gonna leave everything as is we're gonna move on to the last round and right now we have 37 bucks and we just need to get to 40 and in fact we need to get to 43 because we're gonna have to spend three for our upkeep so that should be no problem whatsoever let's just <laughs> here we go four water so we can take advantage of our dual propellers. We're going to place these back into the bag and redraw. There we go. We'll do that. <laughs> yeah, let's just take all three of these. That seems fun. This can be a good open water situation. Draw three more. <laughs> all right, well, we got plenty of octopi. We don't have to worry about that condition. Oh, my goodness. Do we have any more mussels? Eee. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. And hopefully we can get some mussels in this last one. There's one. Okay. We'll take the mussel. We'll, we'll just take these. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And we don't have to play this all out. We can just go those there. That's going to be seven plus one plus two, ten. That's another six. That'll be three more. And four more for good measure. Three for upkeep. And we don't need to do all this. We have plenty of octopi. We have four ships. And we have... 57. So look at that. We were almost, you know, we have enough money and enough octopi. We just would need one more ship and we could get to the difficult stage. So there you go. That was a complete solo play of Conservas. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.